Decluttering is about creating space for the things that matter most. I began intentionally decluttering 15 years ago in 2008 when I started my minimalist journey. And over that 15 years, what I've come to realize is that decluttering is far more than just purging my possessions and getting organized. It's really a path of self-discovery and enlightenment. It taught me to let go of my past, to be more in the present moment, and also really welcome the possibilities of the future. I'm grateful for the process of decluttering and living a minimalist lifestyle because I feel like all of my possessions now really reflect the essence of who I am. There is no perfect way to declutter or to be a minimalist. These are your things and your life. So honor where you're at today and the person that you are. The best way to find out what we really need is to get rid of what we don't. I believe that decluttering really reflects not only my physical possessions, but also my state of mind. In 2008, my life really reflected what my house looked like. It was messy and chaotic. I had several things that I didn't use, didn't need, and didn't add value to my life. As I looked around my home, it made me feel stressed out and overwhelmed. When I began the process of decluttering, it was not an easy task. Emotions surfaced as I sifted through belongings that held sentimental value, but no longer served a purpose. I had to learn to just let go so that I could start creating a life that was intentional and meaningful. As I began to sift through my possessions, I was surprised at how much sentimental value I was placing in objects. And then I realized that my memories and my emotions are not held in an object. They're always with me in my heart, my mind, and my spirit. As each unnecessary item found its way out of my life, a weight seemed to lift off of my shoulders. I felt a sense of liberation as if I were shedding layers of chaos that had been holding me back. With every pile of clutter that disappeared, my living space began to breathe again, and so did I. During my decluttering journey, I had this realization that my self-worth is not equal to the possessions that I own. I began to see that my true worth and value was not in things, but in who I was, the kind of characteristics I had, my relationships with my family and friends, and the life that I was living. This newfound understanding really liberated me from seeking validation through my possessions and allowed me instead to focus on my inner self and my qualities. I discovered that waiting for the perfect time actually is completely useless because there is never a perfect time. By letting go of the notion of a perfect time to declutter, 
I freed up myself from the pressure and expectation that had been holding me back. Embracing the imperfections of life allowed me to gradually create a more organized and peaceful space without waiting for the elusive perfect moment to do it. It's a good reminder that the best time to start creating a positive change in my life is right now, today. Because making that decision to just move forward was probably the biggest decision that I needed to make. Decluttering really allows me to kind of reassess what's important to me and my values by using just a series of self-inquiry questions to become more mindful about the things I choose to bring into my possession and if it's serving me or not. The process of questioning the why I'm buying this item. Do I love it or need it? Will it enhance my life? enlighten me on a deeper level. Creating a plan before I began decluttering 15 years ago would have been very helpful. Um, and this is how I would have done it if I were to go back in time. I would set very specific goals for each space, considering the level of clutter that needed to be decluttered and the time that it would realistically take me to do it. Next, I would devise a realistic timeline, breaking down the decluttering process into manageable chunks, gathering all the necessary tools such as storage bins, trash bags, labels, to keep things organized during the process. I have found that the most motivating thing for me when I'm decluttering is to envision how it's gonna be when I'm done. A peaceful, serene, clutter-free environment. It can be extremely overwhelming to try to embark on decluttering an entire home by just letting go of that notion that I have to do everything in one weekend was very freeing. I began small and integrated decluttering into my weekly routine. Understanding the process, no matter how small, is still progress. When decluttering, it is key to honor how you feel about your possessions. Really ask yourself, are these things that bring me joy, that improve my life somehow or enhance my future? If they are, keep them. Nobody knows what things and possessions mean to you, but you. Keeping the items that truly mean a lot to you is a great way to have your home reflect your true authentic self. I initially found decluttering my home extremely overwhelming and so something that really helped me was to take a layers approach, much like an onion, starting with the outside layer, which is always the easiest, something like my wardrobe. Um, that I could declutter quickly and easily. As I let go of unnecessary items, I noticed a newfound sense of clarity and freedom that was taking hold. With each layer shed, I made space for new experiences, personal growth, and meaningful connections. It's an ongoing process, but one that has immensely shaped my life. Decluttering is not just about eliminating material objects. It's more about reconnecting and reassessing what my priorities 
and values are, to let go of my past, be in the present, and look forward to the future. so much for joining me today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please consider subscribing. Have a beautiful day, my friends.